It is now my great honor to introduce our commencement speaker for this year, Dr. Ruth Johnson Colvin. This is my advice to you. Read it. You can't read it? Yes, I'm putting you in the shoes of a non-reader. Frustrating, isn't it? But there's a joy in reading something you couldn't read before, and I'm going to give you this joy. But you've got to know the code. What is the letter that follows the letter in the alphabet? What follows a K? D. Z. Q. M, H, M, F, read it, louder, learning, keep on learning. That's my passion, teaching adults to read, write, speak, and understand English. But I had to keep learning to do that. Count your blessings, for you can read. And remember, there are thousands right here in Onondaga County who can't read or speak well enough to get by. Look back to your freshman days, just four years ago. You've come a long way and you've learned a lot. But are you going to stop learning? I hope not. You've completed your bachelor's degree, a big step forward. Congratulations to each one of you. But what comes next? Now look ahead. Now some of you will live as long as I have, 101. That means that you have 70 to 80 years ahead of you to learn. <laughs> it's lifelong learning, I'll tell you. And there are many ways of learning. Challenging new job, graduate study, reading, research, travel, learning from others. Also, finding a life partner, starting a family, to get ahead, sometimes you have to take actually calculated risks, for that's part of learning. I've done that right along, but unless you take some risks, you're never gonna get ahead. But keep looking for your passion. Yes, I am 100 years old, but 100 is only a number. It's what you do with your number that counts. I just happen to have a bigger number than you do. <laughs> I'm often asked, what is my secret to longevity, to a national program, to a happy life? I have no secret. But what have I learned? In looking back over my long life, I found that God works in mysterious ways planting seeds within our lives to prepare us for future ventures. Doors often open wide and you go in and do something good, but very often they're slammed in your face. I've had doors slammed in my face. I've had many rejections, but I've learned that out of those mistakes, you keep learning more. Long before your time, there was a song that was very popular. It was called Three Little Words. And those words were, I love you. Well, my husband and I were old romantics, and we loved that song, I love you. But now I found that there are many three little words that have touched my life. God is love. Don't give up the right thing, 
Live life fully. Learn from mistakes. You'll find your own through little words that help you right through life. I've chosen to keep a balanced life, but each of my balances has three little words. So there are four things in my life that I balance that helps you get to 101. Physical is first of all. Never stop moving. I do, I exercise every day. I go to the gym twice a week. I play golf and I swim. And people say, isn't it nice you like to exercise? Who said I like to? <laughs> I do it because it's a quality of life that I must have. The second one is mental. An open mind. You notice my three letter words. Open mind. Listen seriously to others. Ask questions. Use stimulating conversations and discussions. Search for the truth, but always with an open mind. Remember, as long as you live, it can be lifelong learning. The third one is emotional. A positive attitude. That's love, trust, and all those good things. I've gone through the deepest grief, losing my husband. And I've had many rejections. We all have ups and downs. But it's how you look at it. And I've decided to look at it with a positive attitude. And the fourth is spiritual. Help one another. My faith in God is strong, but I have respect for everybody who worships the Almighty in different ways. I look for the similarities, not the differences. Well, with the 70 to 80 years ahead of you graduates, and you parents, you have 40 to 50 years ahead of you. Remember those three little words, never stop moving, an open mind, a positive attitude, and help one another. You can make a difference, for you are the future leaders of the world. You have seeds of greatness within you. Nourish them by what should you do to keep nourishing them? Keep on what? Learning. Keep on learning. Thank you and congratulations. I want all of you to beat my record of 101. That's your goal. Absolutely amazing. Thank you.